Hi everyone and welcome to our video hop. My name's Raywin and my channel is called RSG Mutti. I'm here today as part of a hop which has been organised by Shell C. Thanks Shell. And she was also my partner as in she sent me some um, pieces of ephemera, some tissue, different things for me to use in my piece of art. I'm meant to use up at least five pieces of the things that she sent me. And the swap is called April Showers Bring May Flowers. Now, I'm the only person in the group who actually lives in the southern hemisphere, so it's a little bit tricky for me because we're not going into spring, we're going into autumn. The first day that I started this piece, which was a couple of weeks ago, from when I'm recording this, it was actually about 27 degrees Celsius, which is about 80. Now today when I'm recording this, it's 13 degrees, which is about 55 Fahrenheit. So definitely feeling like autumn now. So I'm just been looking at all the different pieces that Shell has sent me and trying to think what I might use. I know that my favourite thing she sent is probably the envelope that the things came in which will have been gel printed. In the end I actually struggle to use it because I make my background a little bit busy but I think I just made it in using the things that I was meant to use. So let's just get on and see what we can do. So I'm starting off with a piece of a4 cardstock it's 185 gsm and i'm sticking down some napkin one that shell sent me and another one that i had in my supplies the one i'm using resembles the flowers that grow on a tree here in new zealand called the Takawa, which grows at a, in around our summertime which of course is near christmas and we know of it as our local christmas tree now my idea was that I was going to use the little craft doily shape that Shell sent as a stencil and I tried to spray that with um, some Shimmer Mister in white by Deco Art. I've never had much luck with these, I must admit the nozzles jam and I um, had a bit of a disaster, didn't really turn out. So once that was dry um, I made my second attempt to use the doily, this time with golden green gold, and it left a small impression, but again, it wasn't really what I had anticipated in my head. I've been adding a little bit of um, a iridescent pearl to that to give it a bit of a shimmer. So... I then use an EVA stamp that I created myself for a leaf and put that over the top and I have my third attempt at using the little doily using olive archival ink and even after those three attempts it really didn't show as much as I had wanted it to but I guess every little bit adds something, adds a little layer to a mixed media piece. So after I've done this, this is when things go a little bit crazy. I'm not even sure why I decided to do this, but I got out some um, quinacridone burnt orange, I think, and some burnt umber light and mixed it with some um, glazing medium. About to see the absolute disaster when a huge amount of glazing medium pours out of the bottle and I have far too much. So I consequently have quite a few index cards that are covered in this colour when I try to use it up. actually use one a little bit later. So I put the glazing media over my whole piece here and wiped it off and then I just looked at it and thought this is too dark for spring but I've got to go with it now so let's see what I can do and I'll just carry on. Now 
Now I'm going to get some flowers ready to stick on my project. This time I'm using another uh, stamp that I made with EVA foam and I'm using golden fluid acrylic and teal, quinacridone red and cerulean blue chromium. The red and the blue are really intense. Whenever I use them they're quite hard to get off brushes and anything else but I'm sort of mixing them and stamping this onto some cards which I'm going to then cut up have a mixture of different flowers and patterns and at the end I use what the leftover paint just to paint a, a strip that I then cut with some hand flower punch and just some little tiny ones using um, my cuddle bug. So I'm hoping that my voiceover is sort of approximately where it's meant to be for the images that you're seeing. I'm using Filmora editing program which I only fairly recently purchased and it sort of doesn't show me the images at the right time when I'm going back over and doing the voiceover. It's a little bit confusing. The other wee issue we could have is my dog who thinks that when I'm talking to the computer I'm talking to another person and he gets jealous. So Now because so I was really concerned that, that the background was so dark, it all. what I did was I used an app on my phone to recolour it completely and made myself a second version of it. Uh, which I'm now just covering in some clear gesso. I quite liked it in the end, I will admit, they both look very, very similar because I, I do actually do both projects. So you'll get to see those at the end and compare them. So I lightened up the background using some gesso, first of all, in the area that I thought the flowers were going to go. And then in the end, just about the whole um, background got covered with gesso. And here's one of those uh, pieces of card that I covered with all that left over glazing medium I had. So turned into a little window box to go onto the project. And you're basically going to watch now as I sort that out, put some ink around to give it a bit of texture and lay down my flowers the bigger ones at the top and then some smaller ones just overlaying the the um, window box. I used some stamping from Crafty Individual, some little fern stamps to give some foliage around the um, little window box and the stems of the flowers I'm using some tissue that I received in my package that's that was stripy so I cut it up and tried to use it as the the stems of the flowers and just lay everything down, do some highlighting around the edges, adding some more gesso and just finishing off some of those detailing. So just keep watching.
So here we are almost at the end and I just do a little bit more stamping with some leaf green with those same fern stamps. The tissue that they were um, stamped onto and then stuck on didn't really disappear into the project very well so I just covered that white space up by putting on that extra bit of stamping. And my sentiment says the flowers remind us why the rain was so necessary. So today while I'm recording we've definitely got the rain and heading into autumn, not into spring. But we've been lucky, we've had a pretty fantastic summer. So thank you so much for watching my video. Hope you've made it all the way through here and I hope you've enjoyed it. I'd love it if you clicked like and subscribed even to my channel. I've got heaps of other videos that if you look have not had an awful lot of views. I do enjoy just doing this and sharing with a few people around here locally. So have another look. I've done quite a few challenges over the time and I hope you like watching those. Here you can see both the projects together. Thanks again for watching and thanks very much Shell for organising this hop and including me as part of it. Bye.